If you look around Abernathy and Ezel Hall, it's not the place you expect to find a museum. It's dark, fenced off, and locked up. But if you step inside, a totally new scene opens up. It's like walking into another world when you walk through that door from what's out there. This one has dinosaurs, fossils, and even glowing rocks. This is the world Alan Brown lives in. Well, I love museums, um, I love fossils, and I also found out that I really enjoy, you know, talking to people about the stuff in the museum. The coolest thing about this place isn't just the fossils you see behind me. It's the community involvement. People have donated tons of collections and there's even some dinosaur teeth found in Rutherford County. Allen is hoping to get the community even more involved by trying to start the Middle Tennessee Museum of Natural History. It would give a new home to the mineral, gem, and fossil museum that is quickly outgrowing its building. Every year added more and more and more stuff, and now we're kind of busting at the seams. The lack of space is causing a problem. The elementary and middle schools want to bring 50 to 100 to 120 students, and we can fit about 25. And students are noticing, too. I think it needs a little more space. Uh Even though more space is a great reason to move, it's not the only reason for Allen. Also, one of my dreams has always been to have a working paleo lab. If the Natural History Museum can get up and running, thousands could witness Allen's dream coming true.